So we're here at the neurologist. Today, bright and early. We had to keep Zuri up way late last night and woke her up really early this morning. We went to bed at, I think, midnight and woke up at 6 a.m. So she is tired and not feeling this video either. So today we're going to see, like I said, the neurologist. We're gonna have an EEG. An EEG is an electroencephalogram. They're gonna put a bunch of wires on Zuri's head and hook them to a machine and read what her brain is doing. And they're doing that because she's been having some anxiety like you saw last night. And we're just trying to figure out what's going on with her little brain. Um, hopefully we'll figure everything out and she'll be on the right track. So let's see what we can find. Here's Zuri. Talk to you soon. Watch this. Right. So Zuri, you were a little worried last night about this, right? Remember? But now you're feeling better? Yeah. We're just gonna walk in here, get this done, and then we're out of here, okay? Let's go! Here's Zuri. Look. Hey, you're still connected, dude. Hey, it's Harry. You got it? What are you doing? Good job. We took Zuri to the neurologist because she's been having lots of anxiety and having like a tick you may have noticed on the videos where she blinks her eyes really hard. Um, so we took her to the neurologist for an appointment and talked to the doctor who wanted to set up an EEG so we could make sure she wasn't having any seizures. There's actually two types of seizures. One, where your body shakes and you're on the ground and it's really kind of horrible looking. There's another type of seizure where your body just kind of relaxes and you stare into space and you don't even really know it's a seizure. So it's possible to have a seizure and other people not really even know it. So we wanted to rule that out as a cause or a contributing factor. So now they're prepping her for the EEG. What they're doing is putting on a little glob of looks like toothpaste really onto her scalp. They move her hair aside and put a little glob of that toothpaste looking stuff on her scalp and then they'll place an electrode which really looks like a button with a wire attached to it. And they'll put a bunch of those all over her scalp like you see them doing now and that allows the electric impulses from her brain go to the machine where they can read that and the doctor can decipher those. So now that they've finished placing all the electrodes on her scalp, they're going to wrap her head in really a bandage, but it's the only point of the bandage is to hold the electrodes in place so while she's lying on the bed, they won't get knocked off or pushed out of place. So she just wraps that real tight and then they'll start the EEG. So they did the EEG with the lights off and having her rest real still. It took about an hour where she just kind of lied in bed and tried to relax. They wanted her to even fall asleep. I don't think she did though. But she kind of laid there and just relaxed, like I said, in the dark, listened to some some lullaby music and tried to stay real calm until it was all over. Like I said, it took about an hour. I'll take this leaves off, okay? And then I'll clean your hair with one wash coat. Good job, sweetie. 
the coloring there? What are you doing there? Is that a part stitch? Everything is water soluble liquid. Okay. It just comes out in a warm bottle and shampoo. Mm -hmm. I'll we'll try to clean up as much as I can. I'll probably be washing. five to seven business days to generate the report and I'll reach out to you with the results. Okay, great. And see what the following plan is. Okay. Do you like this hot massage? Thank you. Do. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Happy Tuesday. Is that awesome? No. Oh, you didn't like it. You're boring. Well, that's better than terrifying. You did fantastic. What's wrong with your hair? <laughs> Why is it gross? You didn't like that? No, the thing always. There's still like stuff in my hand. It's all yucky? Yeah. It looks beautiful. Wow, look at that hair. Yeah. Holy moly. I had to take you to the hair salon. I told you it looks disgusting. You have to go home and take a shower. <laughs> Well, you did a great job, Zoe. I'm proud of you. That was easy. Boring. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Ready to go home? Mm -hmm. Let's go. So we got that knocked out, Zoe. Good job. Was that fun? Mm -hmm. You said it was boring. Yeah? It was boring. Well, that's better than scary. You thought it was going to be scary, right? And it wasn't. You know, all the nasty stuff in your hair. <laughs> but we're all done now, so we'll get the results in a few days and everything should be great. You want to say the outro or me? Me? Thanks for watching. Give us a big thumbs up. Dad. Hit that subscribe button. See you next time. Bye. Daddy.